compare this cop recording and what we did is some uh, that is easy to use and we think because we enrolled this TB patient and we created a data set of 103 tuberculosis patients. Checking on all the settings are okay. So, so uh, before we go further, this software kind of uses artificial intelligence, and what it does is it tries to analyze the coughs. We call them cough spectrograms, and then it regresses them. So it's a, a mathematical way of modeling the cough image to determine whether there's a difference between someone with TB when they cough and someone without TB when they cough. We don't develop them all. <coughs> I would like you to cough 10 times. <coughs> so I will first of all... <coughs> The biggest achievement is reduced time to diagnosis. So from when someone is, has developed TB symptoms to when a doctor determines they have TB and they need treatment, sometimes the average can run from three to months to one year. And when they're in the community, they are infectious and they are transmitting TB. The moment they get a cough, if you can just expose them to this software and determine this is TB, would reduce TB transmission in the community and a lot of TB is due to transmission. <coughs> so the WHO would like a, a, a test that may have the 90% capacity to detect a disease like tuberculosis and have more than an 80% chance of saying this is not TB when it's not TB. So our software so far has demonstrated over 80% tests compared to 90% we are not far, we just need to fine tune it. And it's shown 70% uh, prediction that there's no TB when there's no TB, again very close to the 80% uh, WHO target product profile. Uh, before I didn't know that I had TB and, uh, until when I, I, I came for the screening, when I was diagnosed that I had TB and uh, I, I, I came and then I was told there is a new technology which we could use to diagnose the TB through cough recording. I, I did that and uh, they confirmed my status and uh, I started on medication, I've taken the medication and then I've finished. It's a very convenient uh, technology, new technology, which uh, I think uh, will help a lot of people. that as much as we will use AI in diagnosis of this, yes, it is very possible. It's not only possible, it's being used currently as we speak by healthcare professionals, where they are, the chat GPTs, they're being used currently for diagnosis. Therefore, what, what will happen with the, such technology is that they are going to help, because remember, in the medical field, um, they are what we call, um, what people need to follow in terms of treatment. And therefore, the, the AIs and all these applications is basically to activate and help more so in confirmation and number two, in real-time data. So that then the, the patient on the other side can be helped fast and possible. Let's not look at, look at it as diagnosis. Let's look at how much time do you take when the patient on the other side to be assisted. How cost-effective is it? How fast is it? How cheap is it? That's the benefit of such. And therefore, yes, it can be used. <coughs> <coughs> 